One of the problems of today's terrain modeling techniques is a lack of physics-based tools allowing for intuitive real-time terrain editing. We present a solution that allows for interactive editing of large terrains using a set of physics-based erosion algorithms. Terrain in our system is represented as a layered data structure, where each layer corresponds to a different material. Each layer is a simple image and can be created and edited in any image processing software. The eroded sediment is deposited on the topmost layer. The process of erosion and deposition occurs always on the topmost layer. Our system couples three different erosion algorithms, the force-based erosion, the dissolution-based erosion, and sediment slippage. Any of these algorithms can be applied with different strength. The force-based algorithm applies forces caused by the kinetics energy of running water to the terrain and is suitable for steep surfaces, as can be seen in this sequence. The dissolution erosion is suitable for static or slowly moving water. The following images show how this erosion forms river paths in the valleys. Sediment slippage is shown as an independent process in this sequence. It is used together with the dissolution erosion to help bank erosion. In this way, blocks of material from the river bank fall into the water and are further eroded. Furthermore, our system allows for direct terrain editing as well as manipulation of sinks and sources of water. This sequence shows such manipulation. And this sequence shows an interactive creation of a dam and the new water outlet. All interactive sequences in this video were rendered directly on the GPU of an off-the-shelf computer together with the water simulation and the three erosion algorithms running in parallel. Thanks to the intuitive scene representation, the eroded scenes can be exported as images and the scenes can be rendered using virtually any rendering system. These images were rendered using Mentar Ray and the material properties were defined in Maya. Advanced features not available in real-time rendering, such as global illumination, caustics, and final guttering were used. This sequence shows a walkthrough in a scene of 2048 times 1024 pixels and four layers of material. The scene manipulation is fully interactive. However, there is a limit to the size of a scene because of the size of the GPU memory. In order to overcome this limit, we have introduced a tiling of a scene. User can select parts of the scene that will be processed, for example an area of a river, and the rest of the scene is ignored. In this way we can apply our techniques to larger scenes. We have presented a fully interactive terrain modeling system that uses a variety of intuitive physics-based erosion methods. Our system is fully implemented on the GPU, is easy to use, and is fully compatible with existing modeling and rendering software packages. For more details, we refer you to our paper.